Oh, Uber Ubers, Uber Tuber Ubers. I, um, so you're looking here on Amazon are some LED T8 uh, light tubes, which would basically go into a fluorescent light fixture. So I ordered some of these. Uh, I set a four. And actually I've had them for a couple of months and I was waiting to get my weed drum correct. And uh, so I went to put them into a fixture. I bought a, a, a couple of fixtures from uh, shop lights from Home Depot, $20 a piece. And now I open up the box to find out you just can't just put them in in place of the old tube. What you uh, have to do is and they're pretty they're pretty cool what you have to do is you have to remove the ballast because these are actually running straight off of 110 I think up to 277 volts so I guess they would work well um, on other voltages um, so you have to remove the ballast basically bypass the ballast so hopefully you can see this the tube, the set in the back, that's the original $20 shop light. It's got a, a pull chain in the middle. Um, yeah, that's how it looks. And uh, this here is the shield that's on there. It mounts to it. So, essentially you cut these off because you're not going to use this end. The only purpose the only purpose for this end now is to support the tube from just waveling around in the air. Uh, it's a holder, lamp holder, with no connection. So uh, you do that, and then uh, on the other end, that's one end of the panel, and uh, this is the other end. So they give you um, they give you a new set, a pair. They give you one for each bulb, one of these, in the box. And then you essentially are going to do is uh, one side is is your line voltages, and this one is your neutral line. Uh, oops, I'm pointing and there's nobody there. <laughs> line voltage and neutral. Line voltage, neutral. So I basically used the wire that was in that I cut off from the panel. I marked it. The black is the uh, line voltage, the black electrical tape, and then it comes down here, hooks into the the cord. That's all it is. The the ground wire is going to the frame because you always want metal to be grounded and. Uh, Got a wet splice there. In order to go into these sockets, you have to have a solid piece of wire. You can't use stranded uh, unless you tin it with a soldering iron. So I used the, this yellow that came inside it, and uh, it was connecting to the old ballast, which you know, is basically the new electronic ballast. The yellow wire is coming out. The other end has um, has all this in here. And uh, of course this could be used in another fluorescent light fixture if I need it for it. Though they probably won't be used in one of my things. But I could come up on times when somebody wants me to fix something for them. Or I might just donate them to the restore store. Uh, either or. So, and you know, that is basically it. I could, uh, I'll show you later on. Uh, I'll probably show them in operation in the weeds room. Uh, fluorescent lights with the, the light tubes. Um, these are how they come. They come in this, they come in, of course, they come in a shipping box with the, I've taken my cardboard to the, to the dump and, uh, that's just how they come. They're well packaged. One end is marked where the voltage hotline is and the other side is just the dummy side. And it's uh, it's pretty cool. 
Um, you can look these up on uh, online here. Um, I'd order the four pack. I'm going to probably order another four pack um, to do two more lamps because I have room to do uh, four bays on my rack. But this will get me going, and then next month I can order the another set. Um, but it's kind of cool because I just figure, oop, just pop them in. Just pop them in, and I get these instructions with them, which good thing I read the instructions. And they just tell you how to do it. But it's not that hard if you have any feeling about uh, working around electrical stuff. It's a piece of cake. So, ta-ta for now. The journey begins.